hello you all and welcome back to my channel hope you're all having a fantastic day with my voice it doesn't really sound like i am but i promise you that i am anyway today we're going to be talking about tiktok and i know for some of you guys tiktok is a very insensitive platform you click the button and it's charlie nearly doing the renegade or something and you just think for yourself but i promise you TikTok is not just that. It is the breeding grounds for pedophiles. And recently, news has gone out. Gemini Official, um, a pretty popular um, comedy TikToker. I um, never really watched him. But, um, yeah, he got terminated permanently for inappropriately texting a minor. I don't really want to get into the details, but you, you know what I get about that. And after weeks of the news coming out, and every TikToker pushing it to the For You page, trying to get him banned. It finally happened a couple days ago. But a little bit today, we're going to be talking about another pedophile that has recently came out. His name is Tony Lopez. He's a 57-year-old 5'8 beast who held his own against Mike Tyson in his prime. Oh. Not meeting the feats of this one guy, he still is a toxic piece of masculinity. He resorts to sending inappropriate pictures to a 15 year old girl Yet he still can't find a girlfriend. That's his age. I mean, it's kind of ruining this business model to be honest Because the entire thing is like oh my gosh. I have apps. Look at this. Um, but he resorts to Pestering and sending inappropriate messages and pictures to a 15 year old girl um, instead of finding a partner that is his age I don't even know how these kind of people are still surviving on the internet. It has the looks of it flourishing. Because as of the day of recording, Tony Lopez has just surpassed 22 million followers. So many ways to broadcast your stories or screenshot conversations. I can't believe they're all not cancelled. I'm all for cancelling cancel culture. But, I mean, this is one of the guys who got to go. And allegedly last year, a nude got leaked on Twitter. I don't know why I said it like that, but I like it. Anyway, probably messed up trying to send it to the youngins group chat. Now, with all jokes aside though, this is awful. And I think people like this should be locked up in federal prison forever. Or maybe get shipped out to Arkham. And stay in the asylum or Blackgate for life. But seriously, it's these kind of people that ruin life. Well, every day that you're living your perfectly normal life, you know that thousands of minors are being taken advantage of by people just like this. And this 50 year old girl, she probably idolized him and looked at him as like a god and didn't even care when he started doing messed up things. Because she was finally being seen in one form or another by the person that she loves. Alright, in the comments, I would love to see hashtag cancel Tony Lopez. As much as I hate cancel culture, um, he's gotta go. And these accusations, true or not, we need to get to the bottom of it. And if they are true, he needs to get out. Prison. I mean, he needs to go to prison. He goes out of here and go to prison. Anyway, this is a short one. I've been Jake. Have a great day. Peace out. Subscribe to me, is the number one thing that you can do for me. Almost two gold was 300 subscribers. Waiting to get a thousand ad cents, please. Would be a me in my pocket. What you, what do you even think when you think? Up video, it's over. You know, this video is on screen right now. Click right now, too. It's not a special, just don't give it too much thought. Just click on a video right now.